What's up guys, my name is Noel Wallace, I'm a surf coach and content creator, and today I'm gonna to be teaching you guys how to do your first air. This has been my most highly requested video for ages. I'm finally gonna be walking you through, step by step, how to do your first front side straight air. I've got heaps of different camera angles, Plus, I'm going to be giving you guys a skate simulation so you can practice out of the water. Grab a pen and paper and let's get into it. Before you even get in the water, you have to think about which board you're going to be riding. You want a board that's light and maneuverable and something that can gain you a lot of speed. I'd recommend using a thruster, although you can do airs on quad setups and twin fins. Ideally you want a performance shortboard. This should be around the same height as you and should have enough volume to easily paddle into waves. I wouldn't worry too much about trying to find the perfect board, just ride something that will get you enough speed to get into the air. Make sure you wax up the top of the board where your front foot's going to be. Now that you've picked the right board, it's time to find the right wave. Now this is one of the rare times where you actually want a closeout. Just make sure you've got enough time to get to that end section. If you pat off the waves that have too much of a shoulder, you're just going to be chasing down a flat section. Although if you get a shoulder that's steep enough, it will actually make the perfect air section. They can often be harder to time though, so I prefer to do it on a closeout. These are the type of waves you should be trying to catch. Pick a wave that you can see is going to close out down the line so you can get enough speed to air off it. Next you're going to need speed, and lots of it. If you struggle with generating enough speed, I'm going to make a separate video just on that, but in the meantime I would just focus on doing that before you even think about doing an air. Generating speed is quite simple, you can press with your lower half, as you extend with your legs you're swinging your arms up to chest high level, then you're repeating that same movement over and over again. Once you're flying down the line, now it's time to eye off the right section. You want either a steep lip like this one, or you want a soft crumbly section like this, which would be perfect to start on. As you're pumping down the line, you should constantly be analysing for the right section. You should time it so the lip's starting to break right as you're about to go off it. If it's your first time, make sure you practice on crumbly sections first. Getting low will enable you to carry all that speed and project off the lip. Once you've got enough speed and identified the section you want to hit, you're going to coil up like a spring. This will get you ready to project up and off the lip. The timing will take practice, but just get as low as possible. Now we're starting to get a bit more technical. First, let's look at the angle that I project off the lip at. You're not just going directly up. You're projecting up and out towards the beach. As you're about to project off the lip, it looks like you're directly going to go up. But then right at the last minute, you point your nose towards the beach and project out. Now let's see what my body does. As you're coming towards the lip, you want to extend your body, then lift your arms up and over your head. This lifting motion with your arms will propel you out of the lip. Now you want to slide your front foot further up your board, just like you're skating. Your back foot will usually follow and end up being at the top of your tail pad. This is important as it will centre you and prepare you for the landing. Just quickly want to point out how important it is to bring your knee up towards your face. Don't knee yourself in the face, but you got to bring it up quite high. If you pay attention to my eyes, I never look away from the landing. So obviously the first thing you want to do is look exactly where you want to land. If you don't like the looks of where you're going to land, like if you're going to land in the flats or out on the rocks, kick your board away just like this and brace yourself. It's much easier to land on a crumbly section than out in the flats, so keep that in mind. You're much more likely to break your board or injure yourself doing an air into the flats. Also, you have to stay centred over your board. This will give you the highest chance of landing it. If you don't, it's going to look something like this and you're not going to land it. Just like with any finishing manoeuvre, you want to finish low in a compressed position. With a lowered centre of gravity, you'll be much more stable. 
it's easiest to remember as chest over front knee than right out in front of the foam. If you land with straight legs, the wave's simply going to knock you off balance and you're going to fall off. One of the most common mistakes I see people doing is leaning too far back. Another one is hitting the section too late or not having enough speed. And also picking the wrong section entirely. Following the same steps, head down to your local skate park and try this on some small ramps. Or if you're crazy like my friend Jasper, do it on the biggest ramp. You can play around and do a straight air, you can throw a grab in there. Or just jump on your smooth star and try simulate it as close as possible. To quickly recap what we've learnt, first you want to pick the right surfboard, wax it to the chest, choose a wave that's closing out down the line, widen your stance, then generate heaps of speed, eye off the oncoming section, coil up like a spring, extend legs and lift your arms overhead, project up and out, slide your foot up your board, Bring front knee up to chest and stay centred over your board. Look where you want to land. Compress chest over front knee. And now you've just ridden out of your first air. Well that wraps up today's video guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave a comment down below what you want to see next. This is the beginning of many, many, many more tutorials. So keep ripping guys. I'll catch you on the next video. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And join me on Instagram at Noah Wallace. Oh,